Hello, welcome to our headstand practice. So um, this is dedicated to Maria um, and we're going to have a little bit of a play. So it's just a little quick one to, to muck about a bit. However, as much as it's mucking about, you do want to look after yourself and you want to look after your head, neck and shoulders. A headstand is actually a forearm stand. It's kind of misnamed slightly. Um, so you want to make sure that you're nicely warmed up beforehand. So um, maybe do a couple of weights or do a little flow practice with some chaturangas, get your shoulders nice and strong, get your core nice and strong, um, feel that kind of hugging at the belly. And then once you're nice and warmed up after whatever you're done, whether it's cycling, um, running, all the rest of it, then have your play. Do not come into this cult, but let's have a little go. So two sorts of headstands. We're going to start with the traditional one, which is, as I said, really a forearm stand. Um, so for all my architectural friends out there, it's all about the foundations. Um, and you want to create a nice foundation. Um, so actually, one of the most important parts of any sort of headstand is that you're looking for a tripod as your foundation. So there's different ways of creating that tripod, that triangular shape. And in this forearm stand, you're going to use your forearms <laughs> to measure that out. So you're going to catch your um, elbow in your hand and touch elbow to hand and that's going to give you the base. So once you've measured out, this is like a really traditional way of doing it. Once you've measured out your forearms, you can then open, keep your elbows exactly where they are, open your arms, bring your hands together and you want to interlace your fingers. So you're not going to um, fist together, your um, hands are interlaced and you've got a nice open cup and then the back of your head's gonna go in there. The bit of the head that's gonna to come to the mat is the very top of your head, the crown of your head, the top. Not the forehead, not the hairline, the very top of your head. So, measure, create your tripod, create your little cup to put your hands into. Bring your head down to the mat, crown of the head to the mat, cupping the back of your skull in your hands, and then before you go anywhere, lift out of your shoulders. So press your forearms down into the mat and lift the space between your shoulder blades up and away. So your head lifts off the mat. Actually lift your head off the mat. Once you've done that, you can keep that engagement in your forearms and then lightly bring the top of your head back down. Come onto your kind of downward dog legs and again, just lift your head off. Make sure you can keep lifting your head off the mat. And as you walk your toes closer to your body, feel your hips move over your shoulders. And for some of you, you're just going to practice this by pressing your forearms into the mat, lifting your head up and bringing your tailbone over your shoulder, your hips over your shoulders. Until that feels relatively comfortable, that's all you're going to do. The next, and do it, like really do it stage by stage. You've got all your whole life to do this. There's no rush. So once you feel like you've got that kind of sense of being able to be onto your tippy toes, lift your head off the mat whilst pressing down and being strong through your forearms and shoulders, you can come to the next stage, which is bringing one leg in and then the other leg in. And then just stay here for a little bit in the little egg shape with your knees towards your chest. Once you're comfortable there, start thinking about taking your shins to the ceiling. Belly hugs in, and you think about shins facing the ceiling, feet facing the wall behind you. Keep pressing your forearms into the mat, and then slowly begin to extend. Legs lift up. And even as you are here, just kind of feel the lift of your head lightly off the mat. If that makes any sense, difficult to talk and be in headstands at the same time for me. So do it in stages. Always, always come up one foot, both feet, hugging into your tummy. Then turn your shins towards the ceiling and then begin to peel open your legs. And as much as possible, not particularly well demonstrated by me, come out in the same way. So legs come down, shins to ceiling, slowly bringing thighs to belly and then come out. So I'll just go up and come back down again. Measure forearms, create foundation triangle, cup, head, back of head, 
in the hands, walk tippy toes, hips over, hips over um, shoulders, one leg comes in, two legs come in, shins go to the ceiling, lifting your legs up, shins, knees to tummy, come down, voila, headstand, actually forearm stand. Cool, we're going to do a separate little video for the tripod headstand. So the next version of a headstand is the tripod headstand. So rather than being a forearm stand, it's a little bit more directly on your head. But again, you're using the strength of your arms, hands and crown of your head create your tripod. You're going to lift from there. Really helpful to have nice long hamstrings and great flexibility in your ankles. But if, like me, you don't have that, then you've got knees that bend. So use them. So let's have a play. So, standing up, hands come into your hip hinges, hinging forward, and do take a bit of time, so as you come down you'll realise, oh maybe I can go a little bit further, maybe I can walk my feet a little bit further, and as you kind of stay in the middle here for a bit, bend your tailbone to the back of the room, crown of the head to the front of the room, lengthen, then begin to fold, think about heart coming between thighs, Turn that there but it feels like it. Nice stretch in the inner thighs, head and neck relaxed, heavy. Hands come down and let your weight move towards the balls of your feet. Okay, so if, like I said, you've got long hamstrings and can get the top of your head down to the mat with the soles of your feet still on the mat. Fabulous. As you can see, I can't. I'm going to bend my knees. What I'm trying to do is create that tripod. So hands are shoulder distance apart, just below, directly below my shoulders. Palms spread wide, fingers spread wide. And I'm going to aim to get my head in a nice triangular shape. So you do not want your head in line with your hands. So you want to be able to see your fingertips when your head's down. So you're going to top of your head into your tripod. Basically, as far as I'm concerned, whatever it takes, so bending the knees. So as I bend my knees, my head comes down and I come onto the tippy toes of my feet very naturally. So my weight is into my hands and my head, but its weight is evenly distributed and without any effort, my feet start coming off the mat. So I'm just hugging my tummy in and letting my legs basically go where they want to go. They very naturally just come up and you're keeping on pressing into your hands and keeping that weight distribution between the three points of your tripod. When you come down, bring your legs wide, send your hips back, so belly hugs in, bum back, hinging to bring your feet back down. And then if you're like me, a little inelegantly, bring yourself up. Have fun and stay safe, it's not in your neck.